Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke, just pulling up at a job now. Now this one they're reporting the foyer door is not working, so let's have a look and see what's going on. Okay, so first inspection, I'm looking at this door, and this thing is flimsy. Okay, so the door doesn't match. So we, but when we back the lock off a bit, locks in. So I think first things first, we're going to recess that electric strike in, try and give it a bit more room. And that, they're just too close. So we're going to recess this 3582 in as well. We're going to set that back probably about three to four mil. And we're going to set that back three to four mil, give them a bit of room, give them a buzz. Can you push that button again, please? Hello? The door opened. Okay, just hold it for me, please. Okay, thank you. Okay, so just leaving that job now. So that's another job that we couldn't um, couldn't complete to 100% status. We got most of the problems fixed, but um, it would have been nice to do a few more things. So first of all, the lock was protruding about a millimetre or two. We set it back another two millimetres, so we lost about three millimetres all up, and that seemed to make a bit of a difference. That's why the, the faceplate on the 3582 was slightly recessed back, because we dropped the lock back a bit. That allows the lock ramp on the latch to align with the electric strike a little bit better and actually slide back, because with the 3582 lock protruding that much and hitting the electric strike in the position it was, it was like two flat surfaces hitting each other, so nothing was happening. It wasn't allowing the lock to kind of go back into its spot. We also recessed the electric strike back uh, about a couple of millimetre too, so basically we moved the lock back and we moved the electric strike back. This gave it a bit of room and that made all the difference. The biggest problem we had, which um, I won't be able to solve today, I'll have to put a quote on it and come back, was the uh, door closer. I did try adjusting it, but the problem was it was just so much air pressure coming through that um, tunnel, the uh, elevator, the fire stairs, wherever it was, there was so much air pressure coming through that the door would not close. That's why it stopped at about 100 mil, and uh, when I put my hand there, I can feel this nice cool breeze coming through that gap. So the door closer just did not have the pressure uh, to close that last 100 mil. And the reason is there's so much air coming through that it just couldn't do it. The door closer was barely barely strong enough as it is, so that's definitely something that's gonna to have to be replaced in future. Anyway, um, at least it's latching and auto-releasing. I did check that. So now at least the tenants can push the door closed to keep it closed, and uh, when the pizza man comes, he can, actually, um, he can actually release it so they don't have to come down and get them. So that's two benefits. And most of the time uh, when the wind isn't blowing so much or some people let the air come out of a different door or something like that, it'll be able to uh, actually slam 
but for now it's going to need a real big door closer i'm going to have to quote that because that's probably going to be a quite a job okay leave your comments down below thanks for watching